Welcome back to the 411. I'm Rekha Mutaraj. Houston's mayor and health officials say testing from sewage shows the spread of COVID-19 is dropping. They say that data mirrors the dropping positivity rate. Adam Bennett shows us why they believe it could help find and contain COVID-19 hotspots sooner. After months of looking for COVID-19 inside the body, the Houston Health Department is now testing what comes out of it. People with COVID-19 shed the virus in their waist, feces, even if they don't have any symptoms. Crews are testing weekly for COVID-19 levels from wastewater at Houston's 39 treatment plants. Experts from Rice and Baylor College of Medicine are helping. That effort started in May. We could have talked about this a lot sooner, but we needed to make sure that what we were going to be talking about, that we had all of our I's dotted and all of our T's crossed, and we feel that we're at that point today. That work led to extra COVID-19 testing at several congregate living centers around the city. Dr. Purse says analyzing wastewater has several benefits. It covers the entire city. It's also cheaper than mass testing, which fewer people are doing. And he says it can help officials spot a COVID-19 resurgence a week or two early and then redirect resources. Uh, the team was also able to look at very specific locations, including the Harris County Jail and the Star of Hope Men's uh, Shelter, uh, where we had particular concerns and we were able to, so we were able to get it that granular. The city will start testing wastewater at long-term care facilities soon. They're confident the same method that helped Houston get ahead of polio in the 60s will do the same with a new deadly virus nearly 60 years later. Adam Bennett, KHOU 11 News.